the ADA reports that the average practice today collects $700,000 a year, $700,000. And I'm just using outside data on this mm -hmm. um, with an overhead of 74%. Now overhead is defined of all of the necessary expenses to, to run your practice with the exception of owner dentist compensation, owner dentist compensation. And so 74% overhead. Um, now let's look at those numbers. So using those numbers, 700,000 in collections, 74% uh, overhead uh, means uh, you've got the reverse of that. You've got 26% available to compensate the owner dentist, right? Follow me along there. Yes. So that leaves a pre-tax income uh, for the owner dentist at $182,000 a year. So now I'm going to make uh, some comments on that. Um while $182,000 a year is, is not chump change and can provide uh, a, a comfortable lifestyle, doctors, you deserve more. You deserve more than that. Uh, and if your overhead's at 74% or higher, you're working too hard for too little, regardless of what your, you know, your, your, your pre-tax income is. You're working too hard for too little. So let's take a look at this and let's apply a, growth, a very strategic growth strategy. And the growth strategy that I'm going to share with all of you is we're going to grow the practice by a number that I'm going to define, a dollar amount, same team, same hours. So we're not going to add any more team members. We're not going to add any more hours. We're going to do this with the same team and the same hours. Now, uh, I'm going to suggest we're going to grow $100,000 a year. I'm using that number because it's a round number. But it's also something I believe that any one of our listeners can grow your practice $100,000 a year, same team, same hours. Why can I say that confidently? We've done it hundreds of times with my clients, hundreds of, of times. It can be done. Right. Uh, so it's, if it's been done before, it must be possible. Now, let's look at the difference between fixed and variable expenses. I'm not going to make this an, an accounting uh, exercise, but I'm just going to go through it from the high-level overview. Most of your expenses are fixed. Um, with the exception, the variable expenses in dentistry primarily fall into two categories. If you use an outside lab, the more dentistry that you do, the, 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 the higher your lab bill is going to be. Does that make sense, Naren? You do yes. more dentistry and some of it's going to be lab related. And that means your lab uh, bill is going to go up. So lab, and I use a budget of 8% for lab if you're not using CAD CAM. So if you're not using CERAC, 8%. And when I use a percentage, Naren, it's a percent of your revenue. Percent of your revenue, not a percent of the expenses, but a percent of the revenue. So, Naren, uh, I'll, I'll drill you real quick, uh, just to keep our listeners engaged. Uh, 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 let, let's say a million-dollar practice doesn't have CEREC. What's their budget for lab? Million-dollar practice. Million-dollar practice doesn't have CEREC. Their budget for lab. Uh, you said 8%. 8%. So that's $80,000. $80, $80, so at $80,000 or less yes. in that practice, you're on budget. So... As you're listening, follow along as you're listening. The other expense, by the way, if you are CEREC, um, I use a budget of 4% or less, 4% or less. Now, some of you are thinking, I never have to send anything to a lab. Well, that'll be the exception. Um, most CEREC offer, uh, offices will send some things to the lab, multiple units and other uh, different types of cases. So I use a budget of 4%. So in that same example, now let's say it is a CEREC office, million dollar in collections, what's their budget for lab? $40,000. $40,000. Yeah. So the other expense that goes up are consumable supplies. Because we're doing more dentistry, we're using more consumables. The budget I use for consumables is 6%. And again, that's 6% of revenue. So that million dollar practice has a budget of 60 grand for consumable supplies. Now, add those up. Eight plus six. I'll, I'll assume for the sake of this discussion that it's a non serac office. 8% for outside lab. 6% uh, for consumable supplies is 14% theoretically, nothing else goes up because those are the only real variable expenses in your practice. Because remember, we said same team, same hours, same team, same hours. Now, however, in real life, it doesn't work that way. Somehow, other expenses creep up. So let's put a 6% number in there for miscellaneous expenses that creep up as we do more dentistry. And I'm using that because it makes a round number. Eight plus six, 14 plus six is 20%. So I put in a 6% factor for uh, miscellaneous expenses. 
So now if you look at that, if you grow your practice $100,000 a year in, in collections uh, and you have an increase of $20,000 in expenses, 20% of 100, leaves you net income of $80,000 on the next $100,000 that you grow. Your profitability is in the top dollars, not in your first dollars. In your first dollars, all of your revenue goes to pay fixed expenses. It goes to pay your rent uh, and everything else. But if you add it to the top dollars, you grow, watch what happens to your profitability. So now let's, let's combine these things. Remember the office, the average ADA office doing 700,000 with 74% overhead yeah. leaves uh, 182, 182,000 in pre-tax net income for the dentist, pre-tax income for the dentist. Yeah. Well, now we add another 80. So 182 plus 80, it's now an $800,000 practice, not a 700. And now 182 plus 80 is 262. Now the pre-tax income is 262. Well, Naren, that's a better number than 182, isn't it? Just in terms of raw dollars. Yeah. But now that the overhead went down, remember it was 74%. It went down to 67%. Right. So the, one of the ways to bring your overhead down is to grow. Because we grow your practice, your overhead comes down. Now, 67 was still at my target. My target is 60% or less. And why am I using that target? Because that's one of the goals we set for our clients. We want overhead to be 60% or less, ideally 50, but that's a hard, hard, hard target today. Right. So if the person isn't doing a million dollars, you want your practice owners who are your clients to make at least 400,000 in profit. At least 400,000 uh, in, in, uh, uh, in owner dentist compensation. 